Good morning and welcome back everyone. As you head out the door, you might already be hearing those pitter patters of rainfall. We've got some rain showers, of course, pushing through the area. We can see on the live scan on the Doppler radar that everywhere in green. So throughout most of the west side valleys of southern Oregon, we are waking up to some rain showers. Now for your commute this morning, it's going to be those areas in pink and blue that you really want to watch out for. It's above 4,000 feet that we're starting to see rain showers change over to snow. So that means as these showers push toward the Sisu summit, if that's what you're using for your commute, might want to be on the lookout for some slick spots due to not only some falling snowflakes, but temperatures cold enough to create some spots of ice. Also, of course, across the Cascades up toward Crater Lake in particular, going to be a spot where we continue to watch for temperatures cold enough throughout the day to create some even accumulating snowfall. Now down on the lower levels, temperatures much too warm to be talking about rain changing over to snow, especially across the coast and toward Medford, where we've been sitting close to 50 degrees. We have been seeing some mid 30s pop up though down toward Mount Shasta City, Lakeview and Altura where it wouldn't be surprised if early on this morning you did see a few snowflakes in the mix, but these mid 30s not going to be enough that we continue to watch out for snowfall throughout the day. It is primarily going to be rainfall that we see from this system. Now the system we're talking about stretching across the entire Pacific Northwest. It's a cold front that started moving through yesterday and as it does continue to move eastward, we will see a few isolated showers as we head into your overnight hours as well as the day tomorrow. The second half of the work week though, we're going to focus on that pocket of dry air a little farther off to the west. It's an area of high pressure that's going to allow for some sunshine back in the area. In the meantime, though, today and tomorrow, not expecting too much more coming from the clouds. We're just going to see about a tenth of an inch of new rainfall stretching from the coast into those west side valleys and even east of the mountains toward Klamath Falls. In terms of your snowfall, we are going to continue to see those snow levels above 4,000 feet. So if you are going to head up toward the Crater Lake area, it may not be a bad idea to throw in the chains and snow tires because we could see as much as about one inch of new snowfall. And across the coast, these rain showers stay in the light and the clouds going to be enough to just allow those temperatures to raise about five degrees from where we are now. So just going to be seeing some mid fifties this afternoon. Northern California, big drop in your temperature thanks to the clouds and showers. We're only going to be looking at highs in the low to mid fifties. So we've been spoiled with those seventies and temperatures just about five degrees below normal for a change. Even though we will see a big cool down east of the mountains again, not looking like it's going to be cold enough to see many snowflakes. We are just going to be seeing some mid to upper 40s though by the afternoon and some very breezy conditions. The coldest temperatures and most breezy wind while well, it's up in those higher elevations. We already touched on Crater Lake where we could see about an inch of new snowfall and early this morning probably going to see a little bit of a rain snow mix over toward Lake the Woods in Howard Prairie. Not expecting more than even half an inch of new snowfall across those areas though. So any snow flurry is going to be staying on the lighter side. And lower levels like Southern Oregon's valleys, light rain showers in the mix, keeping those temperatures much cooler than yesterday. Just going to be seeing mid to upper 50s. Across the coast, mid 50s as we head through the week, we will see a little bit of a warm up Thursday and Friday as we bring back the sunshine. Looking like for your Easter egg hunts this weekend, though, that you might want to keep a rain jacket on hand because we could see, like we have out there now, a few light rain showers. East side of the mountains keeping temperatures on the cold side, especially after those 70 degree record highs we saw over the weekend. Well, we're cooling back down to the upper 40s for high temperatures and check out those lows. We're going to be down to the 20s, so late tonight wouldn't be surprised if we do see a little bit of a rain snow mix, but like we mentioned, not expecting too much accumulation. Northern California snowflakes going to be staying above 4,000 feet, so yes, that will affect the Siskiyou Summit today as well as bring along the potential for some ice spots early tomorrow morning and down on the Rogue Valley floor temperatures staying in those upper 50s to low 60s as we head throughout the week, which actually is pretty normal for this time of the year. Even though we've had those mid 70s the past few days, 62 is the average temperature for Medford. So wow. big cool All down, right. but pretty normal for this time of the year.